The first app you check when you wake up is Shopify because that means someone has bought something from my store. But it's cinema in Edingu. Chairs were massive. Sure, I cannot touch the person beside you because they really call the place brown or brown. So I'll say that was my first date that I can remember. First ever kiss. My first heartbreak. Hmm. And my heart actually broke. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing the my first tag question. I saw this on someone's channel, to be honest, I can't remember her name, but I think she's in Hungary. She did a my first tag, and then I just went on Google, got like 56 questions, which I'm going to do just 50 of them, so I'm going to be really fast. Let's go. First app you check when you wake up in the morning. First app I check depends on the notifications I get on my screen, because I have notifications. My favorite app to check first is Shopify, because that means someone has bought something from my store, but if there's nothing on my screen when I wake up. I think I'll check either Instagram or my YouVersion Bible app. Your first broken bone. I don't think I've ever broken a bone, but I've broken my tongue. Another story time, but when I was younger, climbing the wall of like a door with my brothers, I don't know how we're just climbing. At some point, I will go under, and then I was under, and my brother fell on me, so my teeth hit my tongue, and yeah, but that's not a bone, so sorry, there's no bone I've broken. First foreign country you've ever visited, UAE. First Instagram, Twitter or Facebook post. Okay, I can't remember my Facebook and Twitter first post, but Instagram it was a bowl of cornflakes or cereal and I just said milk and something. First makeup item, eye pencil. It has my eye pencil. My mom literally forced eye pencil on my eyes. She just used to want to line my eyes. Just line my eyes. That was it. So I'll say the eye pencil was the first one I got because for lips I used Vaseline when I was younger. So I think it was eye pencil. Either eye pencil or lip blush. I wet lips. Yeah. First plane ride you ever went on? Um, I guess it was a trip to UAE then. I can't remember the airline. First time I ever got into trouble at home and school. At home, there was one time I remember when we were younger, I was forcing my brothers to eat raw rice. Got into a lot of trouble at home, like burning food. Ugh, that was plenty when I was growing up. And then at school, I never really got, I, I can't remember getting trouble, getting into trouble in school. QC days, seniors would just punish you for no reason. I never go out to buy Indomie. I was never caught, so I don't think I ever got um, into trouble at school anytime first time you were allowed to put makeup on um that would have been when i was in uni and it wasn't like allowed allowed because i was already out of the house but as i said growing up my mom used to line my eyes and then she used to want my lips to be really juicy so that's makeup so yeah when i was in primary school then first youtuber you subscribed to oh brit pop princess thanks to miss ada which introduced me to patricia and she was big for places then I used to stalk her, watch all her things, like I watch everything. I think I watch every of Patricia's videos till date. So yeah, beat pop princess. She's now Patricia Bright. First time you went shopping on your own. I know my father gave up on going shopping with me when I was in secondary school. So I can't remember who used to take me then. Maybe the driver, I can't remember. But on my own, I can't remember. Obviously, when I came to the UK, the mall, saw so H&M, I was just buying one scared, but you know, I was just excited everywhere. So when I was in Leeds, I'll say I went there. I can't really remember my own money. I went shopping. First boyfriend or girlfriend, well, official boyfriend, I guess, when I was in uni. So yeah, the person I dated when I was in uni first. My first car, it was the Honda Accord Baby Boy, and I got that car from my Money from the app before adverts I don't want very silly. I'm just thankful there was the internet was not that deep then. If <laughs> not that advert was so annoying because it wasn't really portrayed a good image for would I say young girls. And it was an advert where I was walking on the road. I think a young, very fine, handsome guy stopped to talk to me and I, I didn't I try, tried to get to his car. Like why should you even be going to someone's car? Like I didn't understand how I filmed that thing. I was in uni that's how I was in uni. Went to his car, the car and now the while I was trying to look at the car or something or listen to the guy, the bigger car came and the fragrance of Ambi Paul came out of it and I was just like mm, and I just went into the car it was so so stupid but yeah that was okay so I was talking about my first car and I entered this one my first car was a Honda baby boy it was black and yeah I left it when I was going for my masters and sold it to a friend celebrity crush I'll say Maurice Chestnut I started watching the brothers my first cooking experience probably frying eggs at home yeah i cooked a lot before i went to uni so i think frying eggs would have been the first thing i would have done but i remember the first time i cooked stew i remember the first time i cooked jello pies in my house first crush my first crush was someone in church not necessarily really first ever cell phone was a samsung yeah my dad got it for me i can't remember the name of samsung 8680 or something like that but yeah it was a samsung i remember my number now 33448640 Unfortunately, I've lost the number. It now belongs to someone else. My first ever date, a guy, I guess. I'll say yes. When I was in uni, 
I actually was taken to a cinema, guys. I was in Enugu, and then this human being found a cinema in Enugu. The chairs were massive. Like, imagine you're in a cinema. You can't even, like, your, your shoulder cannot touch the person beside you because the cushion, it was just big cushion. I think they called the place brown or brown. It was just massive, and then we watched, was it lucky number seven or something? Yeah, so I'll say that was my first date that I can remember. First ever kiss. First person I ever dated. My first fear, um, heights, until today, I'm still scared of heights. First friend in college, that's secondary school. First friend, Ngozi. Oh, Ngozi. And I'm so happy we're still friends. Like, she's such a rock. Amazing. She's a new mom as well. She just gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. I think on the 2nd of June. Yeah, so Ngozi, she's my first friend in college. My first heartbreak. Hmm. And my heart actually broke. I think when I broke up with personal dating in Nigeria, to be honest, it was crazy. I now got on the flight back to Lagos where I lived, and the flight was the worst flight I've ever entered. So. Yes, everything was just crazy and mad together. My heart was my the fear. In fact, maybe that was my first fear. So because that plane ride was crazy, the craziest ever. Like I literally drove the person beside me. I didn't know the person. It was bumpy as heck. <laughs> my first internet activity, Pac-Man. Playing Pac-Man. I remember when my dad got his computer. Like, dad, my dad used to be around for like every time when we're going up, every day, every day. Like he's travel for work. So my mom was the one day brought the computer, you know, to teach us and whatever. So she was just there. My brother was there. Everybody was just learning. So it was Pac-Man. I remember we used to play Pac-Man and then just learn how to type quickly. ASDF, Colum, LKJ. Like, yeah, that was my first experience with the computer in my parents room the computer is in my parents room then was there internet then i think the internet shot came at some point so my first internet activity would probably be something on the line along the lines of opening my email and probably facebook my first job so as self-employed my first job was selling sleek makeup once i was done with uni i said i got introduced to selling sleek makeup from the okoye sisters in lagos then and guys i think like i didn't even spend my nyc allowance because i had so much money from selling sleek i went to stay with my brother in abuja one time and any of my friends just used to take me to their madam's offices and then i would just be selling sleek i'll put eyeshadow you know showing them all the palettes and sleek was so affordable as a wholesaler and as a retailer so it was amazing i shall make plenty of money so probably even part of my nyc money that now plus the ambipo money that helped me buy that car but sleek makeup selling was amazing so that was my first self-employed job then my first real job was skybank by nyc time my first language english first love i guess my parents or my brothers my first pet i never had a pet i've never had a living pet i've never really taken care of a pet i've done from growing flowers and keeping flowers i've never really had like an animal kind of pet my first person and where did that get my first person was definitely the normal persons my parents would have gotten for me when i was born but i got another one above it and i got it in uni in my ear first swear word i'm guessing it will be f you first tattoo i don't have a tattoo my first thoughts today when i woke up today like i just thought of the fact that i was going to do laundry i thought of breakfast i always think of breakfast when i wake up like what i'm going to have today what i'm going to have today and i just i was i think i was excited that there was going to be laundry so there'll be things i was sure i'm definitely going to do in the morning because this covid day someone has just been very confused like you wake up doing what day of the week is my first time on a ship um that would have been in tobago in trinidad when i went to trinidad to go tobago with my friend olga for their carnival so i think 26 or no, 27 so we had to go to tobago from trinidad and we had to get on the ship to go there guys i threw up like it was crazy we everyone just sat at some point half of us were in the bathroom because our heads were just spinning and my friend wasn't affected but for some reason my head gets affected by the water i guess and then once we get, got to tobago they gave us meds to take and we felt better coming back was a whole lot better because we had to take meds that would not make it so bad it was one of those really big ones that carried like millions of cars i don't know how come it affected my head that much first time on the train when i landed um england and had to go from heathrow to leeds i went from heathrow to king Cross to the train from king's cross to leeds and then went from leeds to my house yes yeah, so that's my first train ride my first toy um i don't think i can really remember but i remember having a doll that was a white doll normal white doll with blonde hair I used to, in fact at some point the hair came out yeah that's the first toy i can remember having first youtube video so on this channel 
I think it was just something introducing the fact that I, I had to restart the channel after being shut after shutting down the previous one because of copyright issues. And then on the first one, I think I did a reason I was starting YouTube, just introducing myself and telling people I was starting YouTube. Online profile picture, I guess it would be my first picture on Facebook, which I can't even remember right now. Oh, sorry, it would be high five. Oh my gosh, high five. So when I even said internet access the first time, it's email on high five. And then my first picture would have been my first picture on high five, but I can't remember high five anymore first book i remember reading hey i read a lot of books as a young child i remember even reading donald trump's books one of his i can't remember the book but it was an, an exciting or oh, rich dad poor dad is a book my father imposed on us so yeah rich dad poor dad i'll say is one of the first books i read aside school books first concert i ever attended that concert they do in lagos at the end of the year where all the artists come i guess that would be it. Did I do that before I came here? I think it will be that one because there's no other concert I ever attended. Yeah, Reading Unplugged. Yeah, I think that's what they call it. Yeah. First movie I remember seeing, I would say Sound of Music, guys, because I can't even remember. The first person I talked to today, I prayed. I prayed this morning. I prayed well this morning. So I'll say Jesus. And then if it's a human being, obviously my husband. The first person I text when something exciting happens for males is my husband. It's my friends. You'll probably be. Nelly, Amaka, Stephanie, Ice Cream, Uju, like or if there's someone who was kind of related to the thing that I've spoken with, yeah, but these people are people that I feel very safe talking to immediately something happened. First text I sent today, I haven't sent any text message today, but WhatsApp message, I think I sent a, a, a link to my video, the video I published this morning, I sent it to people on WhatsApp, then I had a chat with IJ, I had a chat with IJ, so I guess it will be... That broadcast message and then Ijama spiking in Abuja. First thing I do every morning my phone and look at my the notifications in on the front page and then say a quick prayer or say good morning to so Oga beside me. First thing I do when I get home, take off my jackets, because the last time I went to work it was cold. So I take off my jacket, drop my my bag and my footwear and yeah, just feel the happiness of being at home. First time you ever got drunk. I don't think I've ever got drunk drunk, but guys, I was high in Amsterdam. Like this one was high plus annoyance. It was just a crazy experience. I didn't know what I ate and at some point I was just, my head was just woozy and I was just acting up. Two years ago I went to Amsterdam. Aside that, I just get tipsy. I don't get drunk. I've never gotten drunk, thrown up all that, no. First wedding I attended. So many weddings. I can't remember the first wedding I attended. Okay, my friends, yeah, Titi at Jisafe now. I think her wedding was one of the first ones I attended because she married quite early in Kechi as well. Yes, they married very early. So I guess those are the first weddings I attended. When did you go for your first party? Obviously, when I was young, probably neighbor parties and stuff. My mom will happily dress everybody up to attend the party. But I can't remember what the first one was. When did you have your first sleepover? When I was a child, I don't think we had any sleepover. Maybe people would come to the house. Which person? So, when I was in uni, I'm sure definitely I'd have gone sleepover in Amaka. I'd have sleepover in Amaka's house, possibly. There was a time I went on holiday, Michelle and Choma. In fact, I even I might find a picture of that now. We had a pyjama sleepover party. I think it was Michelle's birthday. Yeah. And we had something like that. So, I guess that was the first time I had official sleepover. First time I got a speeding ticket, never. When was the first time you ever had sex? I think I got married December 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm supposed to tap someone to do this. I don't think so. If you want to ask any of these questions, make sure you go in the description box. I'll put all the questions there choose the ones you want to answer and then have fun see you on my next episode please click the thumb up button drop a comment because i love to read from you and then subscribe if you haven't and have a lovely day keep staying safe Bye bye